Hi, this is Rhett with Miller's RV, and today we're standing in front of a 2022 Winnebago Micro Mini 1800BH, and we're gonna do a quick walk around on it. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, and also remember to submit your questions, and we'll get you in on our frequently asked question segment. Now let's get started on the outside. All right, here we are on the outside of the 2022 uh, Micro Mini 1800 BH, and I wanted to show you one of the unique features on the outside of this coach. That's only technically an 18-foot coach, tip to tip, right about 22 foot, but it does have an exterior door on the opposite door side that you can open up, and on the bunk beds on the inside, you can actually lift up the bottom bunk, and it will store in the up position and clip out of your way, and you could put bicycles, barbecue pits, anything that you have that's too long to fit, uh, either in your tow vehicle if it's a sport utility uh, or if you've got a lot of extra gear going with you. For me, it works out great because I like to fish and you can bring your longer fishing poles and all your fishing equipment with you. Now, there's some other features on the door side of this coach that I want to talk about while we're out here. This coach is equipped with the off-road package, uh, so it has the upgraded uh, tires uh, and also the upgraded wheels on it. it, has electric awning on it, and it also has electric stabilizer jacks front and rear. So when you get to the campground and go to set this coach up, it's just really not a lot of sweat work that you have to do. Everything on this coach is gonna be pretty much push button. Now let's step inside. All right, now we're on the inside of the 1800 BH Micro Mini. And I wanted to mention a few of the uh, measurement features on this coach. Uh, we talked about the length outside. This is a seven foot wide coach, not a full eight foot wide. So it's designed to be towed by your smaller vehicles. This coach's dry weight, even with the options that we have on it, comes in under 4,000 pounds. So anything rated in the 5,000 pound range or up can pull this. So your sport utilities uh, that have the V6 in it, all of those will be rated at 5,000 pounds minimum. So it does open this particular coach up to a lot wider market. Um, also on the outside, we did put the exterior speakers uh, with the JBL sound system that's tied to the inside. Um, and you also have full pass-through storage under the front bed on the outside, small door on one side and bigger door on the other side. Uh, so because of the door that we showed you underneath the bunk, for a small coach, it does have a lot of exterior storage on it. Now in the brochure, they will call this a six sleeper. Obviously with the full bed up front, you can get two up there. The dinette uh, with the size in this coach uh, being only a seven foot wide, I would tell you one adult or two small children here. And then of course we've got the bunks in the back that'll sleep two people. Uh, now this coach does have the upgraded uh, air conditioner with the downdraft grill. Uh, and we do always go to the 15,000 instead of the 13.5 air conditioner. Need it down here in this part of the country just because of the heat that we have year round. Now, all of your micro minis also come standard with gas electric water heater. And that way, when you go to the campground, you can burn electricity that you're paying for instead of burning the LP. Uh, save you a little trip in the middle of the night running out on those two bottles up on the front. Now, again, we did equip this coach with a flat screen TV that's mounted just over the kitchen sink. You can watch it from the dinette area or from the bunk area, or it will swing and you can watch it from the main bed area. Uh, rear bath on this coach does give you a, a nice bath across the back. It does have a couple of wardrobe closets back there that you can use either as towel storage or you could use as wardrobe storage. Now, all your micro minis are also made with true plywood floors. There's no particle board in the build of this unit, so it's a unit construction wise that's going to last you for a long time. It's a great beginner's coach because it doesn't have a slide on it. So there's just not a lot of maintenance that you have to do to this coach. Uh, the less moving parts you have, the easier it is to take care of. It does have wireless charging built in uh, into the kitchen cabinetry, uh, which is a feature we started seeing a couple years ago and it's made its way even into the ultralights. Uh, but again, if you have a small family, small tow vehicle, and you don't want to go out and invest $50,000, $60,000 that it costs to get a half ton truck, this is a nice option to get you started into the camping field. So go on to our website, millersrv.com, or come on down here and see either Cam or David and take a look at this coach. It's got a lot of feature for the dollar. This is a coach that will actually sell for less than $30,000. Um, so come by and see us, and always remember, enjoy the journey. Hey there, thanks for watching this video. So we want to remind you again to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your post notifications so we can keep you updated with the best that the RV industry has to offer. If you want to stick around and watch some more videos, we've got a link for two videos here. So we'd love for you to stay and look at that. And if there's anything else that you want us to do videos on, leave comments. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the journey.